Hey everybody, I'm Lizzie. I'm Joe, we're from Hailstorm. This is for Total Guitar and we're talking about our onstage nightmares. <laughs> Which is pretty much every night. <laughs> <Right. what I'm laughs> Living the dream. No, but uh, we, uh, I mean, I've, I've had a bunch. I, uh, I just fall a lot and my, my worst by far, and it was the best time too because we were open up for Megadeth in France and we weren't like listed on the bill. This was 2010. Nobody knew who we were. Nobody knew there was an opener. So the lights go down and everyone's chanting, May God, death. And we knew their crew guys. So they were like, hey, just be careful. They throw a lot of stuff at the opening band. You know, watch, just be careful with the crowd. And it turned out great. You know, the crowd loved it. We didn't get anything thrown at us. We sold a lot of our CDs. But in the middle of the show, you know, you're, when you're on stage, you're up there trying to be cool. You know, you're like, hey, I'm cool. I'm playing guitar. This is awesome. And, you know, I was just walking backwards like I do playing. And, and I, I, walked backwards right into my Marshall full stack and I sent the head about 15 feet that way and I like realized I was just on the ground, feet up in the air on top of the cabinets <laughs> and the speakers and <laughs> oh God. All I saw was feet up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's like, all right, well, nothing's really working anymore. So, <laughs> so <laughs> just I, you just gotta kind of get up and walk off and I did and between Megadeth's crew and our crew, I was back playing by the next chorus somehow with some other amp and cabinet and the worst part is having to walk out and face the crowd again and like yeah i know i'm not actually cool here we go <laughs> <laughs> you're not cool no no no, no. Okay. we're accepting i try to act like it and it just doesn't it never works it's okay what was your onstage nightmare lizzie um you know there there've been a bunch uh, usually involving my little brother rj um, <laughs> this one time in particular, uh, we were in Nebraska and, uh, you know, playing this huge stage and, and, um, we used to start out the show acapella, you know, uh, so it would just be me on stage and we'd sing, uh, I, I would sing the, the full verse of, and chorus of, of one of our songs called It's Not You. And, um, right before the chorus would come in, there would be a cue where like the band would start. So the band had to be there. So I get to the cue sing and get to the queue and all of a sudden I look to my right and Joe and keep going Joe and Dr. like stall stall we don't have RJ so I I, I don't know where he was I, we had no idea where he was um and, and uh and so I ended up making up some some words or some like, sense yeah, I, I, love you, Nebraska. I I can't remember what I actually made up but you, Nebraska. <laughs> and we look back and Come, see RJ like sprinting in the back of this arena full speed with a pair of drumsticks <laughs> just leaped over the kit and we like somehow got like, into the song like, come to find out he had locked himself out of the building <laughs> wasn't even like He's aware it was great um so somehow we pulled that off but and, uh, and no no harm no foul yeah that, that's rock and roll man it's yeah. like you know you, you live from night to night that's why i was saying every You're night just... is a nightmare you never know <laughs>